everyone, I'm Melissa from Fresh Blooming Clothing and this morning I went back to my local half-off Goodwill. This Goodwill is called a clearance center. It is not the bins. It is a center that collects clothing from a lot of other Goodwills in the region and then they take half off of the Goodwill prices. So I spent $28 this morning and here's what I got. The first thing is an Ann Taylor black label blazer. This person must have donated a lot of their wardrobe because there was a lot of Ann Taylor and J. Crew different pieces. This one is a zero. Some of them were like XX small petite, which petites don't do really well for me, so I left a lot behind. But I liked the way this snapped asymmetrically. You can fold that down. And it's in pristine condition. And the regular Goodwill wanted $4.99, so that means I got it for $2.50. The next piece, I couldn't look up because the reception in that Goodwill isn't the best. And I know it's a vintage label, but I bought it more for the style. It kind of nips in at the waist and then has these, I'm going to call them like petals almost. They're petals, but they're stitched at the bottom. And my favorite part was the rhinestone shank buttons. Hopefully you can see those. But they have a lot of sparkle, and it has velvet. I might actually try this on. This is really pretty. And this was also $2.50. So not a big, um, I thought I saw something on this, not a big splurge on this, it was worth the shot. Okay, next up, this was a boutique item. The Goodwill likes to put the brand names they think they know in the boutique. This is Juicy Couture, which was popular in the early 2000s and has just kind of come back because Kim Kardashian wore something like this recently. So it has the big JC on the back and it's black velour and they wanted $6.99 so I paid $3.50. Next up is one of my favorite labels to find, Sundance. And this is a catalog brand and it does pretty well. This piece is pretty plain compared to a lot of other stuff, so I don't think I'm going to get like $40 or $50 for it, but it could be wrong. It's new. It has a little button bag on it. It's a brushed, thin corduroy. I liked the color. I liked that the sleeves were cuffed up. They're cuffed and stitched in place, and they kind of have this soft, heathered gray material. And I paid $3. Okay, dresses. This dress caught my eye just because of the print and everything that's going on. It's more of an A-line or a skater style skirt. But when you look up close, it kind of has mesh and stripes and tie-dye. There's a lot going on. But it's really pretty. V-neck. And this is a Target brand, Massimo. And I think I could probably sell it for about $20, $25. And they wanted $5.99, so I got it for $3. Next up is a skirt, and I might keep this skirt. The label is Magdalena. Just wear it, you'll love it. It's a size large, but I might be able to, to wear it because it has a stretchy waistband. And it's just a cotton maxi skirt. I liked that the hemline had a very um, asymmetrical, it's kind of done in points. And my whole closet basically is just comfy cotton clothing. Um, yeah. That's everything about that black skirt. $4.99, so I paid $2.50. I'll have to try it on later. Okay. Next 
next is another dress. I didn't know this, so I did stand by the front door and look up this brand name. And the pieces retail for 100 to $150. This one still has the tag on it. It's, I guess, a brand for plus size, average to plus size women. This one's really heavy. It's like a t-shirt, pale pink, but it's fully lined with the same fabric. So it's soft. I like soft and comfy. Brand new with tags. Waist tie in the back. It's not really the season for this color dress, but I think I could probably get $20 to $30 out of it. Next up is another dress, and there's no way I'm going to be able to show this dress in its entirety because it is long, long. The brand is Moda International, which is Victoria's Secret's catalog brand. I don't think uh, Victoria's Secret still has um, a clothing brand. They just have pink at this point, I think. So um, this dress is older, but still pretty stylish. It's a maxi dress. It's like a super duper duper long maxi dress. And the back is really low and stretchy. And then it has the sports bra kind of cups inside. And then the straps are also <laughs> really, really long. So you can probably tie this numerous ways. It'll look good on my dress form. But basic black dress some sexy straps. I paid three dollars. Okay, another dress. This one is a wrap style dress. And I do pick up wrap style dresses when I find them, even if they're not fantastic names, just because wrap style flatters a lot of women who buy them. And this is BCBG, Max's area. And I think I've probably sold this dress before. It's a black and white lace print, and it's a true wrap, and I always make sure I say true wrap, and one goes through and then ties, you know what a wrap dress is. And I paid $3 for this, and I'll be surprised if it doesn't sell within a week for about 20 bucks. Okay, let's see what else. This was a fun find. This is Dext Baby, D-E-X Baby, and it's a soft teddy bear. And I go through the stuffed animals. Uh, they don't have a large section, but I go through them because I know stuffed animals have a following and sometimes do well. So this one had a button in the back, and when you turn it, It creates the sound of a womb, and you can make it lower and higher, and it has the Velcro strap, so you could tie it to the nursery um, crib, and I thought this was really cute. They seem to be going for about 15, 20 bucks, and I spent $1.50, but I'll give him a clean up, I'll spray him and uh, disinfect him, and I'll put that in the listing, so, you know, the mom or dad buying him, or I guess it could be a gift for somebody. Uh, knows that it's clean. The next item is not making me very happy. This particular Goodwill only has small bags, so all of their bags look like this. They have no large bags, and I it's my fault. I should bring my own bags. I know this. So everything they try to stuff in one bag, so a oh, huge cart, I wound up with three bags. Um, and this was was so pretty. It was Disney's 25th anniversary. Um, it says remember the magic across the bottom. It's really pretty colors and now it's broken. So I paid half of 99 cents, so 49 cents, so I'm not that upset. Uh, they have a no return policy, but I am going to bring this back next time I go. And that's just due to bad packaging that that happened. Okay, the last few things I bought for a doll. Their children's clothing is $1.99, and uh, that's for baby clothing too, which is a little pricey. 
but it's 99 cents half off. So I have a creepy doll who's actually pretty cute. And she might be one of my niece's Christmas gifts. I have her on right now for $75. But if she doesn't sell by the time her Christmas box goes, I'll stick her in there because she's so adorable. Um, so I bought a baby doll, this outfit, just a little diaper cover. And I think it'll fit her because the baby doll's pretty much doll size, uh, baby size. And then I got her uh, this baby bagosh denim dress with a little silver ribbon, uh, which was 99 cents. And this Gymboree hat, which was 30 cents. And I thought I would add that to the Christmas gifts. I'll wash them and package them up so they look all brand new and stuff. And my eight-year-old niece would probably get a kick out of that. And I think that's everything for $28. Oh, no, one more thing. This is beat up. I'm sure you can see the box has a lot of wear. It is brand new, never opened. And it's Disney's Hercules. And it's a whole bunch of figures. I did look this up as well. Stood by the front door, looked it up. There's a few on eBay right now going for $40 to $50. Um, mine's not in that great of a shape, so I'll probably put it up for maybe $14.99 to $19.99, excuse me, and I got it for $2.50, so I thought I would take a chance with that. Okay, so next is a LuLaRoe haul. I have been buying a ton of LuLaRoe. This doesn't even show a third of it that's been coming in. Um, there's a site called threadup.com, T-H-R-E-D up.com, that puts pieces for sale. You can also send clothing to them and they'll give you a few dollars uh, on consignment. And I've caught on to buying LuLaRoe. You have to be fast. So I'm at the computer most days anyway. I type in LuLaRoe. If I can snag a few pieces, awesome. So I've been buying the things that I think I can sell for at least double my, my profit. My, you know what I'm talking about. So here's some LuLaRoe. This is a Cassie, which is like their pencil skirt. This one is not, uh, doesn't have tags, but it does look brand new. And I paid $7.99 for this. Now it's black, white, and gray. So the basic colors do pretty well. So I'm going to put this on for about $24.99, and I should probably get $20 to $25 for that. Next up is an Irma. These are the styles of LuLaRoe. All of these are LuLaRoe, but the style is Irma. This one's kind of a fine knit and kind of a blue-gray, and it's large. And this style runs two sizes bigger, so the large will fit somebody who's like a 1X usually. Um, and it's a tunic, high-low, nothing too fancy. I think again I paid $7.99 for this. I'll probably put that for 20 bucks. Not huge profit margins, but basically I'm clicking things on a computer, they send it to you for free, and I photograph it, and that's all there is to it. So that's a really nice way for me to supplement thrifting right now. Uh, this is a LuLaRoe 2X, and I think this is their Anna style. A lot of consultants don't sell Anna, so it's a longer dress. It's a very soft material. I'm going to guess this is a cotton blend, and it's kind of a heathered gray with pink around the collar and sleeve openings. Again, not new with tags, and I feel like this one probably was washed just because it has a little bit of a texture to it. Okay, next, this one is new. It is their Cassie. I don't know why the... Okay, this is the Cassie. It is black and green. So I probably paid $7.99 for this and I'll get maybe 20 to 25 bucks. Also new, also a Cassie. This one's a solid color, it's kind of mustard, which is hot right now, 
and it has a herringbone pattern. $7.99, and I'll start it at $25 and see if it does anything. Next up is, can't even remember what I got. I have, I think, three more boxes coming of this size as well. This is their maxi, and they say you can wear this as a skirt or um, kind of a tube top dress. And this is a really, I've never felt this blue the row material. It's very smooth. Black and white, which is good. It has the fold over waist, which is great. It's a size small. And I'll probably place it, again, 15, not 15, maybe 25. I think I paid $7.99 for that one as well. Okay, now we have a Nicole dress. The Nicoles have a seamed waist and then kind of flare up. And I loved this color, this kind of very jewel colors. And not new with tags, but feels brand new. Very pretty for this type of time of year. And the dresses do pretty well. I just sold a Julia, I want to say, that I got from ThreadUp for $13.99. Most of their dresses are $13.99, and I sold it within days for $30. So again, not as great of a markup as thrifting but much easier and you can do it right from home. This is a extra large and this is also a Nicole. It's got blues and reds and creams and it's got a lot going on. Feels clean too. This doesn't feel like it was washed. No pilling. We're in good shape. Okay, this is a Randy. The baseball ones are called Randy's, and Randy's do pretty well. This is a large, a lot of them have the solid gray sleeves and then the print or vice versa. And I probably paid about $7.99 for this one too. And I'll put this one up, I'm gonna guess 20. I loved this one. This is a size medium. This is another Irma, which is a top but it is definitely a tunic, high-low. And this one is in perfect shape. There's no way anywhere. Nowhere, nobody wore this. The colors are kind of unique. It's pink, orange, and teal, but it does have black in it as well, so somebody could wear black leggings with that. This is a Nicole. This was from their last year's Elegance line, so that was like a limited edition holiday line. It's a small. It's black and gold. And the gold, thankfully, is not glitter that falls off. LuLaRoe had an issue with that line where glitter would just come off everywhere and people were complaining about it. But this has none of that, so that's nice. Also, looks super clean. Can imagine anybody wore this. So I'll probably price this one. I'll have to look what comps are doing, but I'm gonna guess 40. Here is a Julia. Julia is a very straight up and down dress, black and white, size extra small. So I paid $13.99 for the dresses, and I'll put this one on for 30, and I'll expect it to sell for that. We lost a tag. Okay, this is also a Julia. This one's an extra, extra small. And it's a solid heather gray. And then it has red, gold, and black sleeves. All of these feel really clean, guys. Another Randy. This one is a large. Now this one might have been worn. There's no pilling or anything, but it just doesn't feel as crisp and that could be a condition, um, just be, not condition issue, that could be based on the material it was made on. Some of the materials are made to feel like they've been broken in. But black, red, gray. I love this one. This one is a very slinky knit. It's a size medium. It's their Irma. So it's got that high-low hem again. Colors are a bit crazy. So the medium probably fits somebody in the extra large or so um, size. And I think I paid $7.99 for tops. 
And the last Cassie is just a plain aqua blue. It's got a texture to it. Looks good. I don't see any snags or anything. Size medium. I'll probably put that on for about $19.99. So that is my Thread Up haul. I would highly recommend going on there, checking the brands that you know sell best. So Free People, Sundance, LuLaRoe, things you've collected that you can find um, and sell quickly and order from them. They ship straight to your house. I, this is not sponsored by them. I just really appreciate the convenience of shopping from home. So that's it. If you have any questions ever, feel free to leave me a comment down below and I will try to answer them. You can also find me on Instagram under my eBay store name, which is Fresh Blooming Clothing. I have not been uh, as diligent as I'd like with YouTube just because our house had major renovations going on all through the house. And I guess I can show you. Um, I always surprise myself, like, huh, I should show you. So this room is my bedroom. Right now it's going to look a wreck because I have this lovely tripod thing happening here. These are some things that I were pack was packaging. So when I package my items, I put them in zipper bags, I label them, and then they get processed out there. This one still needs to be processed. That's everything we just went through. Uh, should I show you my closet? I guess so. This room was done, so um, this is my personal closet. And you can see mostly I wear Birkenstocks with white socks. That's attractive. But I wear really comfy shoes just because it's better for my body. I've got some Christmas cards up there. I have to write those. Um, my personal wardrobe is mostly cotton, oversized pieces um, that I can get dirty if I need to. And here is the tile. Where's that tag? And the tile, we are thrilled with the tile. It took about five weeks total for the tile to be finished. And then we had to put down the moldings, which took a long time. We had to re-clean everything. We had to put furniture back in its place. Here's our kitchen. We live in a villa. I'm sure you've heard this in a similar video. Um, it's just my husband and I, and we are really blessed to live here in Florida. This is just a utility room slash laundry room. We are thrilled with our little house. Look how cute this is. I like putting whimsical touches, so you'll notice a lot of nautical. Um, I painted that on the back of the door. There's also hearts throughout our house. I guess I'll leave that on. Um, here's one there. So I think I'm up to 33 blue hearts hidden throughout our house. So when we have kids come over, we tell them. They go crazy and find them. It's always fun. Okay, so this is my office. <laughs> we'll get to this room in a second. Okay, so the kitchen is now completely finished. We raised the roof on the opening, and so that kind of made a bigger passway, pass through, whatever you want to call it. And all the moldings are done. That took forever. And that's where I list. Okay, now this room is a disaster. <laughs> we have everything in this room right now. This stuff is my eBay stuff, so I can pull uh, skirts and look in there, and everything is in plastic bags and labeled, so I do keep some <laughs> organization going through all of this. Uh, there's some other things here. We've got a bowling ball. We've got my husband's tools, my steamer. This is something I put down for our robotic vacuum not to go in the other room. This table normally goes in the other corner. You can see our couch back there. Some tables. And this is our last room to finish, which is our lanai. It used to be an outdoor space 
but thankfully they put air conditioning and they put screen doors up. So um, we've been working on molding. Some of it is still missing. We're missing a piece here. This piece had concrete, so we couldn't nail into it with the nail gun. And um, that's looking back through the living room. And let me tell you, I am going to be so excited. So excited when this is finished because I don't do particularly well in uh, not having everything organized and so much disclutter. So thanks again for watching. Feel free to leave questions down below. Bye.